Hi everyone, this is Heather with Treasured Hometown. For today, I wanted to show you how to make these little holders. Um, they're originally, I uh, designed them for your grocery bag holders. So then, you know, fill them up. Whenever you need a plastic bag, just pull them right out the end. I don't know about you, I reuse those, these little bags for trash bags inside the house, all your little waste baskets that, you know, you have one in every room, or at least I do. <laughs> so um, I reuse those. And then even though I re have reusable bags, usually whenever I go to the grocery store, I still end up with so many of these. So it's also very nice, quick, easy, and they fold down to basically nothing so that it makes it super easy for me to just once it's full take it up to the store dump it into the recycle bin today I'm actually in this video going to be making this one with you this one I actually extended it much larger than my other one that I did in the pattern for it but yes yeah, so I'll actually show you you can make it with fewer rows also doesn't need to be this big. This is just for um, my reusable water balloons. So quick, easy, toss them right in and super easy for the kiddos to grab them. So this was just what I did. So then also I can quick and easy, hang it up, put a hook onto the wall, voila. And whenever I'm going out, do you know, the park, beach, something, just grab it right off and I'm good to go. And also it's made with, I use cotton yarn, so it dries very easily and quickly. So either I can throw it inside the washing machine or like even whenever I use these, just lay it out on the picnic table, let it dry in the sun. Cause well, you usually use those also out playing in the sun. So I hope you enjoy the video. For this project, we're going to need a couple of supplies. First things you're going to need is some darning needles. Uh, they are in order to weave in our ends at the end of our project. We're going to need a hair tie. Uh, these ones are, I pick a new one and they're the heavier uh, hair ties. I find they last a bit longer, at least how I use them. So you get, I think 30 in a pack for like $2 if that at the dollar store. You'll need our scissors in order to cut our ends. We're going to need a crochet hook. We're using a five millimeter hook. And we're going to need some yarn. This was peaches and cream. The, um, and the color is Canorama. This is a number four weight cotton yarn. All right, to start, what we're going to do is we want to attach to our hair tie. So create your slip knot. And then you're going to want to do a slip stitch in order and pull tight to uh, attach that right to the hair tie. Then go ahead and chain two. Now what we want to do is do 40 half double crochets into the hair tie. And as a reminder, half double crochet, you yarn over, go into the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops.
now that you have 40 half double crochets, what you're going to want to do is slip stitch into your second chain of your first chain three of the round in order to join. And that is our first round. For our next round, what we want to do is go ahead and chain three. And then what we want to do into our next stitch, we want to do two double crochets. And then we want to double crochet into our next three stitches. All right, now we did three do uh, double crochet into the next three. So then into our next stitch, we want to do two double crochets. And then for this one, we just want to, we did the two double crochets. And then we want to do three double crochets into the next, or one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then once again, two double crochets into the next stitch. And just keep pleat and complete the round by repeating that over and over. All right, now that you've done our last one, you wanna go ahead and slip stitch into the third chain of our first chain three in order to join. And there is our second row. All right, and from here, to begin our next row, what we're going to do is chain three and then we're going to double crochet into each stitch all the way around.
All right, and that would have been 50 double crochets. Now what you wanna do is slip stitch into your third chain of your first chain three of the round in order to join. And there we have row three. So for our next row, what we're wanting to do is the same thing as we did for the last row. So we chain three and then double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So another 50 double crochets. Now that you've done your 50 double crochets, we want to slip stitch into our third chain of our first chain three of the round in order to join. As you can see, it's bowing up because we haven't done any additional double crochets into um, additional increases. So this is about the width of what the uh, holder will be. And now for working up the body of the bag, what we want to do is for, this is row five. So what we want to do is chain five. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna skip this first stitch and we're going to treble crochet into this, the second stitch here. So as a reminder, the treble crochet, you yarn over twice, go through your stitch, pull up a loop, come through your first two loops, yarn over, come through the next two loops, yarn over, and come through your last two. And there is your treble crochet. Then you want to chain one, skip one, and then we're going to treble crochet again into the second stitch. And so we want to continue chain one, skip stitch one, and then treble crochet into the next. And we want to repeat that all the way around until we come back to this side.
All right. So for this one, we did our final treble crochet and then we chained one. We just want to do our treble crochet and then we want to slip stitch into our fourth stitch of our first chain five of the round in order to join and there we have our first row or actually I'm sorry that is row five just kind of give you a little idea how it's starting to form up all right, now for our sixth row, what we want to do is from here, chain four, and then we're going to treble crochet into that chain one stitch. And then we're going to chain one. We're gonna skip the uh, treble crochet stitch. And then we're going to treble crochet into the chain stitch next to it. And then again, chain one. And then treble crochet into the stitch next, skip the stitch above the treble crochet. And then treble crochet into the next one. And we're going to want to repeat that throughout the entire round. As you can see, it's basically putting the stitch in between. Now that we had just did our last one, we're going last treble crochet. Make sure to chain one, and then you want to slip stitch into the fourth chain of our first chain four of the round in order to join. All right. So that makes that little brick pattering, brick pattern for our entire bag. So what we're going to do for this, for each row, we're going to repeat row five and then do row six 
uh, and keep repeating that until you have your bag at your personal desired depth. Um, so go ahead and make it until the desired length that you are wanting. All right, everyone. So uh, here I have made several repeats. I have a total of 18 of the rows, uh, the treble crochets. So I repeated row five and row six uh, eight times each, or I'm sorry, nine times each. So a total of 18. So now it's at the size that I am looking for. So now to go through and finish off the top, what we're going to want to do is simply chain three and then we want to do a double crochet decrease. So you go in, you start your double crochet and go through your first two loops. Normally you, you know, yarn over and pull through, but for this one, we don't want to do that. We want to yarn over and start another double crochet, come through the first two loops. And then, now you have three loops on your hook, start of two different double crochets, yarn over and go through all three loops. So that is a double crochet decrease. And then what we're gonna wanna do is double crochet into the next stitch. And then next we wanna do another double crochet decrease. And then another double crochet. And then into the next, do you want to do another a decrease? And you just want to repeat that a double crochet decrease and then a double crochet all the way around the opening. Now that we're at the end, we are going to want to slip stitch in order to join, and we're going to slip stitch into our third chain of our first chain three of the round to go ahead and join. All right, now that just kind of cinched everything down a bit. Now for the next row, what we want to do is chain three and then we want to double crochet into each stitch all the way around.
right, now that we're back at the beginning, we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into that third chain of our first chain three of our round. All right, and then we're just going to do that same thing we did for the last row, chain three, double crochet into the next stitch, and then in each stitch all the way around. And then go ahead and slip stitch into the third chain of your first chain three of the round. All right, now we have that, you know, closing on in a bit. Now from here, we want to go ahead and we're going to start making the uh, loop so we can hang it up from somewhere. So we're going to chain 15. And then I'm going to take and slip stitch into that same stitch that we came out of. All right, and then from here, the stitch right next to it, we want to slip stitch right into there. Then we're going to turn our work. And then we are going to single crochet into each one of the chains for that little loop that we did. All right, now that we're back here where we came out from, now we want to slip stitch into the stitch right next to. Now you have your little handle. You can go ahead and tie off. Use your darning needle to go ahead and weave all, weave the ends in. I like to keep them longer because it gives me more I can work to weave in and it's always easiest, easier uh, to go ahead and just cut off the excess from it. But here we are, we have our long bag. Um, a common thing would be, you know, storing your, uh, plastic bags, you know, your grocery, old uh, grocery bags from the store. Save them up for whenever you take them on in to recycle. So you just carry the bag right in, empty it into the recycle bin. This one I actually have made specifically with another pattern that I did, my reusable water balloons. So this one is very long, so I can go ahead and shove all those water balloons inside of it and hang it up. So then I have them easy, ready, and together. Cause well, every other bag, they tend to just like explode everywhere. And next thing you know, they're all over the place. So nice little bag.
Thank you so much for stopping. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give me a little like for it, a thumbs up like onto it. If you would like to uh, go ahead and continue getting free patterns, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day.